Okay, so now we'll have a look at the setup of the BIM server. The BIM server is accessed through a web browser. I've already got my web browser open here. Got my username and I'll click login and that will sign into the BIM server. And in here we can see a list of all of the projects. So this is the project that we're currently signed into, the Carlton project. And this is the setup for the project. We can see the size of the project, when it was last modified, and the backups, and anybody who's currently signed into this project. By clicking on the backup button, it will give us a list of any backups that have been created for this project. There are two types of backups. A BIM server backup, which is stored on the same, same computer as the BIM server. It doesn't necessarily have to be a server. It could be another workstation within the office. Or a PLN backup, which is exported away from the BIM server. We can also check the activities for that particular project, who's signed in and who's uh, synchronizing their changes backwards and forwards. And we can control which users within the BIM server can access this project. So in this case, everybody who's got a username is currently able to sign into this project, but we could restrict that further if needed. At the top, we can change to the Users tab, and that will give us a list of all of the users for this BIM server. And for any user, we can control a number of things, including their um, management role, which controls whether or not they can sign into the BIM server itself, and who can um, administrate and share projects on the BIM server. And also the role within the projects, which is currently set up as the lead architect. So that controls what actions this person can actually do when working in the project, and I'll come back to that in a moment. On the right-hand side, we have the information for that person, including a photo, a color code, which I'll talk about more in a moment, the email address so they can receive notifications back from the BIM server, and again, the management roles. And also by clicking on the activities, we can see what I'm working on at the moment. By going to the roles tab, we can see a list of the relevant roles within this BIM server. I was set up as the architect or lead architect. And you can see here that the lead architect has rights to pretty much change anything within the, this project. Whereas some of the other roles may have some restrictions or, or different permissions. For example, the architect role in this case can create a story but not delete a story. The exact roles set up on the BIM server can be customized based on your own office and also the access rights for that role can be customized as required. And uh, we can also control the libraries on this BIM server. So this just ensures that everybody who's working on the project has the same libraries loaded at the same time, so everybody's seeing the same thing. 